What's happening, webheads? Guys, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. I'm Mike Spider Slayer. We are on part two of my new series that I just started of going through my 70 short box collection. Yeah, you heard it right. My collection has grown to about 70 short boxes and we're going through every single box every single week. So it's going to be a lot of fun. If you missed part one, I'm going to leave it at the end of this video so you can check on it. Some of these boxes are complete surprises to me because I have not gone through them in quite some time. So guys, if you love daily comic book content and you love me helping you make decisions on what comic books to buy, you love hauls and all that kinds of other stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with that being said, let's head over to the short box and let's see what's inside. All right, guys, so here we go. We got a box of indie comics. So let's open it up and, and let's see what's inside here. It could be anything, right? All right, so first books we pull out of here are... Books that are unbagged and boarded. Oh, boy. All right, so here we go. These could be books that are just... All right, four kids walk into a bank. So we got that. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Plutonia. This is a Jeff Lemire book. This book is actually pretty good. Uh, it was a good story when I read it. Oh, man. Street Fighter vs. G.I. Joe. This is issue five. But well, what is up with that art? Oh my gosh. So there's that one. We got Jupiter's Legacy issue two. This is issue one. So I must have just been skipping out on bags and boards here. Uh, Violent. This is from Ed Brisson. I remember reading this. This is chapter five. It was a pretty solid book at the time. Uh, random issue of two. This is issue 56. Great series. If you guys never read Chu, I definitely recommend it. Then we have Jupiter's Legacy Issue 2. Or Jupiter Legacy 2 Issue 2. Yeah, that's what it was. Oh, look at this. Predator Judge Predator versus Judge Dredd versus Aliens. Wow. And then we have Grim Tales of Terror Issue 9. All those covers look just like that one, man. All right. Oh, man, this sucks. I got to put this in a bag and board because I love this. And we found it in the last box. This is Tokyo Ghost. Uh, this is issue seven. I will always recommend that book from Rick Remender and Sean Gordon Murphy. All right. So that, that was some of the loose things. I think everything else in here is bag and boarded. So let's, let's take this stuff out. All right. So it looks like we have uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is issue 58. Okay, we have all new Archie. This is issue six. So we got that. And then we have uh, Beauty. This series is dragged on for me, but that's a pretty nice looking cover right there. And then there's Beauty. There's issue four. So that's pretty cool. Beauty issue five. And then, <laughs> I remember this came out. Back to the Future, this is issue one. Uh, random issue again of Chew. This is issue 46. I have this entire run. They're just in multiple boxes here. Trash Pale Pollo. So this is Chew issue 47. Here's Chew issue 48. Chew issue 49. Like I said, guys, read Chew. It's so good. Such an original book. Still not far enough to where I can just show the books here. Here we have Chew issue 50. Here is issue 51. So that's pretty cool. And then we have issue... 52. That's an homage cover to the first issue. Then we have issue 53. It's <laughs> a Flintstones. Then we have issue 54. We have issue 55, I think that is. Yep, 55th issue. We have 57. Where's 56? Who knows? And then we have 58. We have 
have 60. Oh man, Mark Mark Miller's and Sean Murphy's uh, Chrononauts. That was like a time travel book. That was really good. This is always a lot of fun. Danger Girl, this is issue one. Gotta love it. And then we have Frozen. I hate Fairyland. I never was a fan of this book. That's issue one as well. I hate Fairyland, issue two. <laughs> it is an interesting cover though. I hate Fairyland, this is, is this issue 11? Wow, we went that long with this? This is issue 12. G.I. Joe, Cobra World Order. We have Hit Girl. We have Invincible issue 116. Invincible issue 117. Uh, Invincible 118. This is towards the end of the series, guys. Then we have issue, I think this has got to be probably 119. Yeah, 119. Then we have issue 120. Invincible issue 121. Here is 122. 123. One twenty four, one twenty five, one twenty six, one twenty eight, one twenty nine, one thirty. 131, 132, it's 133, it's like a young blood tribute, 134, 135, 136, Nice cover of Eve on there. 137. 138. 139. 141. Don't know where the random issue is. Well, there's 140. <laughs> it's just out of order by one. So we'll fix that real quick. Robot War, this is issue 142, 143, 144, and then we are done with Invincible for right now, because then we go to Jam in the Holograms. Check out that foil on there. That's issue one. And we have issue two. Lady, uh, Lady Mechanica, this is issue four. Manifest Destiny, what a great series that was, especially in the beginning. What issue is this? I don't even know. It doesn't even say, I don't even see it. Obviously blind. Manifest Destiny, issue 14. There's 15. This is a book I definitely recommend from Skybound. Very good. Issue 16. 17. 18. Look at that cover. <laughs> Unbag um, imported issue 19. Unbag um, imported issue 20. They're fine. Unbag um, imported issue 21. Bag and boarded issue 22. 
There's uh, 24. Issue 25. This one would look like it glows in the dark, right? I don't think it does. Issue 26. Then we have issue 27. 28. 29. Oh, I read a lot of this. 30. 31. 32, 33, 34, and then we go to Ninjak from Valiant. This is issue six. Look at that cover. That's cool, man. Issue seven. I remember reading this by uh, Matt Kent, and this was an awesome little run here. Issue nine. And then Jim Zub's Glitter Bomb. Couldn't quite remember what this is about. It was different though, that's for sure. So that's a nice little mini. I think it was four issues, maybe, I think. We'll find out. Issue three. Another Plutonia issue. Jeff Lemire. There's the other one. And the next one. And the next one. Right. Uh oh, Power Rangers? Wow, Mike Spider Slayer's got Power Ranger stuff? Issue zero. Blue Ranger, issue one. Shattered Grid, issue 25 of Power Rangers? That's a, that's surprising, man. How many of you guys remember this next book right here? Mark Miller's Reborn. This is an awesome, awesome book. Greg Capullo did the artwork in it. So beautiful. Love that book. Reborn issue two. Issue three. Issue four. Look at this. It's completely just all white. Issue five. Issue six. And then we move on to Saga here. We got Saga issue 25, 26, should be 27. This is the way I organize the books. Like I'll put them in order and then once the box is full, then I'll just create a new box continuing from the next number. If that makes any sense. I don't know if I explained that right. <laughs> 28. 28. 31, 32, 33, 34, 30, uh, wow, 43, that's a jump, 44, uh, 45, I was really into this series, it's not quite the same right now, 46, 47, 48, we got 49, and here is 50. Oh, here's a title that probably no one remembers. I do, though. It's, it's all right. Snot Girl. That's issue two of the series. We got issue three, issue one. That's So that's issue one, so maybe we should put that right there. Then we have Street Fighter G.I. Joe. This is issue one. That's pretty cool. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue 41. Here's issue 46, Eastman cover. Uh, 47. 48, another Eastman cover. 49, the big issue 50, there is issue 51, 52, 53, 54, 
55. More Tokyo Ghost. That's the first issue of Tokyo Ghost. Nice. We showed that in the first box. And there is the very first issue. Issue 2. It's issue 3. Look at that cover, man. That is so nice. Issue 4. And then we had Ed Brisson's Violent. The Violent. <laughs> like father, like daughter. This is issue one from Cat Calamia. This is Cat Comic Uno that does the Comic Book Weekly uh, Tuesday night show with me. This is her first issue of her first ever comic book. And then here is issue two. And this is uh, Celestial Falcon. This is issue one from a good friend of mine by Chris. Fireside Tales is another book. Um, Done by uh, Brant Fowler and his Last Ember Press Publishing Company. Same with uh, Pneumatic Cases. Same thing, issue one. And then here we have Kick-Ass 3. This is issue eight, the grand finale. Ronin of the Mashari Kingdom. This is a independent uh, book that is based off of Mario. So that's pretty cool. So there you guys have it. There is box number two. And next week, I will bring you box number three. Maybe we'll pull out a Marvel or DC so it's not independent after independent after independent. It might get a little boring after a while. So we'll see what I pick up next week. And of course, guys, if you love the content, I'll leave you more content right here to click on. And of course, guys, as always, thank you for watching. And keep buying, keep collecting, and always remember to read those comics. Guys, I'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye.